Hello friends, servant leaders, this is Will Davenport, and I want to take a quick moment to thank you. I want to thank you for investing your time and energy into the children here at Fairview, investing in their faith. I want to thank you for seeing God's great vision for their lives, that every child was created with a purpose and a reason for God to have them here, that he loves them, he knit them together in their mother's wombs in a beautiful way. I want to thank you for seeing that your influence not only changes the lives of these children, but their families as well. Thank you. And today I also want to take a quick moment to share with you a story from the Old Testament about King Hezekiah. He was the king of Judah, and he was a, an excellent king of Judah. He was one who led the kingdom of Judah in following God. But later in his life, he got very ill. He became very ill, and the prophet Isaiah came to Hezekiah and said, Hezekiah, I just need to tell you that you need to put your house in order because you're about to die. Hezekiah was devastated. He prayed to the Lord. He said, God, you know how I followed you. Please heal me. Well, Isaiah heard God's voice again, and he went back to Hezekiah and said, the Lord has heard your cry and will heal you. You will, you will live longer. Hezekiah was so excited he wanted to celebrate, and so about that time, he got a note from some folks from Babylon. They wanted to come and visit, visit, and they said they were coming to celebrate that he was no longer sick. Well, when they came, Hezekiah showed them all over the kingdom, showed them all the wealth of the kingdom. And when Isaiah heard about this, he said, Hezekiah, how could you do that? How could you show them all of the wealth of our kingdom? You know that they came so that they could figure out how much we have so they could come attack us and steal all our treasure. Hezekiah couldn't say anything. He knew he had been wrong. And Isaiah said, God has told me that because you did this, the kingdom of Judah will be defeated. But not during your lifetime, after you die. Now you'd think that Hezekiah would be sad. He would repent. He would be sorry for the descendants that he had. But no, here's what he said. That's good news. Good news? Good news that the kingdom would be destroyed because of his poor choice? See, Hezekiah was only thinking about right now. He was thinking about only himself and not about preparing for the future. When I hear that story, I reflect on myself and I think, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to focus just on now, what, what works for me, what, what's going good now. I want to think down the road, what's going to happen in the future? Who am I investing in? How am I preparing what God has allowed me to influence so that when I'm gone, it will be in really good shape and ready to go for the future? That's why, for me, I make it a choice to invest and mentor other folks, and I want to invite you into that too, because I believe that as we invest and pour into the lives of others, first of all, it'll be incredibly energizing for you and for all of us and for this ministry to share the wisdom that God has passed on to you. But I also believe that it prepares our children's ministry for the future. We're not just thinking about now. We're thinking about down the road someday when God calls us to pass it on to the next generation, to the next leaders. So I would love to hear your stories as you find folks, as you pray and invest and mentor people. If you need ideas, I'd be glad to help. And I would also love to hear any wisdom that you gain too, so you can teach me as well. Thank you very much.